All right, so check this out. This is pretty awesome. This is an 1850s home uh, in central Vermont, and this electrical system was probably installed roughly 1950 to 1955-ish. It's a uh, federal electric polar fused service panel, um, pre-federal Pacific branding. But I mean, this thing is just fascinating to me other than it being an absolute mess and being quite a doozy of a day as far as getting all these circuits out of all of this and upgraded to we upgraded this to a 100 amp at main breaker panel um, the meter up there above one of them is active the other one was an old one that's been disconnected but that all that whole top portion there is gonna go away this is a multi-phase project here we're upgrading it in in phases this for being the first phase getting all of these circuits um, figured out and the meter disconnect will be relocated outside with a typical service mast on the outside of the home and the new feed will be brought in but for now it was just a matter of pulling the meter getting into this thing and realizing how much of a mess it was as you can see it's been just tapped over the years i mean the house was built 1850 then 100 years later gets its first electrical upgrade and then i'm sure you know 2025 it's been kind of not too too bad but definitely tapped off of quite a bit um the homeowners have been there for about 40 years and they didn't do any crazy upgrades very you know kept everything pretty pretty simple obviously no ev chargers here um but yeah so the majority of the work was just carefully taking everything apart figuring out what was what labeling what i could because nothing was labeled um really just about two of the obvious circuits were labeled obviously the range i knew the range uh, i knew the well pump and i knew and, and yeah that's about pretty much all i really knew um there are the old fuses customer thought that they were really cool as well he taught he used to tell me stories about how when he would you know shut a circuit off he'd slowly unscrew it do what he had to do and then come back and slowly screw it back in and yeah but yeah i mean i i find these things i find this kind of fascinating it was it was, it was definitely a good day of work but it was fun to to kind of see the bit of history there there's the main right there the main fuse block just simply pulls out and then on the other side there was the was the range fuse block which both were tapped off of as well for whoever added circuits and these other disconnects on the side there i quickly realized that i had a 20 space main breaker panel 100 amp main breaker panel that was not going to be sufficient for the amount of circuits that was actually here so luckily the supply house was close enough and one of my guys delivered it over to me so i didn't have to leave which was came in you know came in super super handy there but there's that old Romex cracks in your hands really old really brittle part of the upgrading phases going down the line there all you know, all two wire is going to be slowly upgrading all the wiring as well so for now it was just being very delicate getting everything disconnected put back together into the new panel and as we go through and upgrade we're going to get rid of you know a lot of this old bx this old 2r romex and just continue to upgrade but yeah trying to make sure i had all my you know the couple two pole circuits that i had labeled but other than that i was just trying to be delicate um thanks for tuning in thanks for watching this is uh definitely a favorite one of my favorite videos thus far i just think this is really cool but yeah leave me a comment if you have any experience with these types of systems or if you're a homeowner who has to deal with this kind of stuff but leave a comment subscribe like if you can but yeah here i am just continuing to work through these different fuse boxes disconnects there was one modern disconnect that was up top there in the upper right corner it had a it was tapped off of of course then it had a single single pole gfi breaker with some newer romex so it's going up into the kitchen i'm assuming I think I, I forgot to ask, but I think it was for a relocated refrigerator. But there's that last lock nut, and then 
just dozens of flathead screws into this old hardened petrified wood that you had to take out one by one by hand that was really the bulk of the labor was just taking these things apart but yeah luckily like i said i had the supply house close by and they brought me the 30 space breaker panel which you'll see in a minute here and yeah so i did use that feed i did use some polaris taps to extend it onto the breaker delicately um even though i, I almost just slammed that on my foot but there you go i didn't get much of the footage of mounting this oh yeah there's that old romex i mean it just disperses this crazy dust it's nasty stuff so i had a mask on for a lot of this part of it but it still looks like a mess but that whole top portion there is all going to slowly get upgraded and redone those are those player staffs i extended that a bit because this is all somewhat temporary um, those didn't make it to the panel and i didn't want to be let them too hard so i i did put those j boxes in to pick those up which will still which will remain and those will be used for other for other circuits as they're upgraded this isn't going to be you're not really going to see the ending of this this is sort of just like the beginning phase of this overall project there's still the outdoor stuff to figure out but a lot of this romex this older bx and romex 2 the insulation was so you know i had to use my razor knife on some of them to cut the insulation because the strippers just wouldn't do it because that old rubber that old cloth type insulation some of it was cracking and falling off pretty heavily but we made note of the the more severe ones that we're going to upgrade first and kind of prioritize uh, safety over all of those things. And as things get modified, the arc vault and GFI breakers will come into play and we'll upgrade all of those for all the various circuits because he's got some other stuff in the, in the house as well that we're going to obviously upgrade along with the circuits. But yeah, trying to keep everything up to 2023 NEC code as we go forward but for now we just needed to get this 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 part of the the project done but yeah thanks for watching drop a comment subscribe but yeah this was a fun one <laughs> this will probably be a part of the series a playlist um of the different phases but for now i think this was a a good much needed upgrade and a good step forward on this project but you know lots of lots of work to go ahead